Back now at 530, an accused drug dealer now charged with felony murder. It is the newest tactic in the fight against the opi opioid epidemic. Then what police made this arrest just after a man died from an overdose of heroin laced with fentanyl. Yeah, very serious police and prosecutors say they want to send a strong message now to drug dealers about the consequences they could face. CBS 46's Megan Packer is live in Dunwoody and Megan. This marks the first time the department has charged an alleged dealer with murder. It does, Sharon and Sean, and this is also something new for the DeKalb County DA's office. You know, these cases can be challenging. They have to prove that a drug overdose death is linked specifically to a dealer, but they say they can prove it in this case. Not only that, but in this case, the overdose death happened right across the street from where we are here at the police department. Hopefully this will send have a ripple effect throughout the heroin community. A strong message that if you are selling drugs that you know can kill someone and they die, uh, you can be prosecuted for murder. In the fight to save lives from a deadly addiction. This dealer won't be selling uh, any heroin to anybody else. 28 year old Antoine Thornton is charged with felony murder and trafficking heroin after Dunwoody police say he sold heroin laced with fentanyl to a man who died from an overdose. The 22 year old going through rehab was found dead at his apartment in March. It is the first time in Dunwoody and DeKalb County an accused dealer has been charged with felony murder in an overdose death. They're difficult cases to prosecute because many cases you lack the evidence. Um, and in this case, we didn't. 30 year old Deja Shaw was also arrested, charged with offenses including drug trafficking. As the nation combats an opioid and heroin problem, prosecutors want to make it clear they are not going after users and people struggling with addiction, but rather the dealers. Somebody that is responsible for uh, creating the misery um, that folks have to deal with when they're in the grips of heroin addiction. Uh, and, and, and for creating the pain that is caused uh, on these families when folks uh, overdose. 8,000 Georgians died as a result of drug overdoses over the past eight years. Uh, that is larger than the populations of 16 individual counties in our state. That gives you something to really stop and think about for a moment, doesn't it? That is Attorney General Chris Carr. He wants to make sure everybody knows about a resource that is out there right now. It is a website with the links, tips, uh, resources, numbers, and websites for you to check out everybody in Georgia. We've got it linked right now to this story on our CBS 46 News app. Reporting live in Dunwoody, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thank you. CBS 46 is now going in-depth with a closer look at the impact of the opioid epidemic. According to the National Institutes of Health, an estimated more than 2 million Americans were addicted to opioids back in 2016. From 2000 to 2016, more than 180,000 people died of opioid overdoses. 4,700 of those deaths were just in Georgia alone. Now, the cost of opioid-related care has skyrocketed, costing at least $15 billion in Georgia alone.